Hey, it's Darren from innovationtraining.org. It seems like now there are so many different AI tools for almost any use case, almost any application you have in your work. Do you want to create a video? Here's an AI tool to do so. Let's look at creating slides, a slide deck. People are calling these presentation makers, AI presentation makers. That's the thing that I like about AI is it helps me to make, right? I don't have to start from a blank sheet or I can give it some rough stuff. It helps me make. And I think uh, some AI tools could help you make a presentation or a slide deck. So we've done a video before on slides, AI. And uh, now I'd just like to show you a little bit about another tool that I think does beautiful slides. It's beautiful.ai. And, but mostly I'd like to show you how to try stuff out. I think that's the thing that a lot of people need is how do I take a look at a tool and try it out and try it out without signing up, you know, for the tool perhaps or, and we're paying for the tool. So how do you just get a sample? So this is what I like. A lot of AI tools have a way to sample the tool. And here's what I see on this one right away. It gives you a chance. It get, makes it easy for you. This is what AI tools do. You don't have to think of something, right? And enter it into the white space for better or for worse, I guess but it gives you examples to try. So you know, like I can look through here and get ideas for, oh, I like this timeline of great future inventions. Okay, that's a nice design, right? So that's what I like about this tool, beautiful.ai. Are the slides look nice? So maybe not so much slides you might present, but you could use those in an article, create a visual, share it on social media, create a carousel, things like that, right? So, okay, so there's other stuff here, right? Oh, I like this uh, movies, top movies of 2010 with movie posters and box office revenue. Let's see what it does. So now it's getting more visual, bringing in images. So this is what I like is we just push a few buttons. We see how it works. We see what it does. We see what it can create. Obviously, the things that it's showing you here are going to look good, right? That's why they have it here. But what, do I, what I like is I like to tweak it and see what it can do. Okay. So instead of top five movies of 2010, let's go, let's go 2022 um, and let's hit enter. So we're changing it. We're tweaking it. My guess is it'll probably do pretty good with this too, because it's a similar thing. So let's see what it is. So we're just working with it here. This one takes a little bit of time to generate, right? Versus the other one that was more text-based, but we're getting a sense of how this works what to do and then maybe next i'll come up with my own idea for a slide that i might like to do we'll see how it does okay that looks good so this as you see this kind of looks beautiful beautiful.ai that's a strength okay so the thing on inventions made me think of something so let's do top let's try this we'll go four of the most famous architects of all time with a famous quote under their image. Let's see what it is, right? So this will be a little more challenging. I'm taking something I saw that I liked earlier that shows me a number of images with something underneath. Let's see what it can do here. Um, so I'm curious. I'm wondering if it's going to be able to find the quote that matches it seems like it should be able to so we're getting a sense you're almost seeing some of the chat gpt like things here where we're entering text having it do something based on the text okay i'm liking this i think it's good i was hoping we'd see frank lloyd right there and uh some other famous ones these quotes i know this is a frank lloyd Wright quote so that's the thing that you always want to check with this stuff is is it accurate